Hello, I'm Rita from Mumbai and today I'm going to show you how you can make a great contribution towards the sustainability of the earth at micro level. And what better way than to recycle plastic from home? We get plastic with each purchase we make. So you don't have to wait. You can get started immediately. The first step is to cut open the plastic at opposite ends so that you get a cylindrical shape. Now, this is no rocket science. You can easily outsource it to somebody, thereby generating employment in the country. Now, the next step is to cut it into strips. This requires a certain skill because, as you can see, no two plastic bags are of the same texture. You can easily divide them into hard, medium and soft varieties. These can further be divided into hard, harder, hardest, medium pressed, medium soft. Even the soft varieties are these. There's a difference between two soft varieties. You can see this is crisper, this is softer. So when you make cut strips, to make the chain, you have to take these factors into consideration because if, let's take, if you uh, cut half inch strips from each to make the chain, the shape of the mat will be distorted. You have to make adjustments. There is no mathematical formula. It's all by experience, touch and feel. Now here, these loops are cut. You have to join them. Again, this also can be outsourced because it's so easy. It's like joining the tags to your luggage at the airport. If you get, uh, let's take, if you don't get these not smooth at the joint, no, don't worry. They give a very nice rustic look to the mat. Now, if you have to combine these with the loop, from a softest one, you can see the difference. How much difference will be required? You see for yourself. Again, as I tell you, there's no mathematical formula. The simplest way is to run your finger on the chain. It should feel the same. Now, once this chain is made, you can do anything with it. I crochet the mats. Now, there are two ways of crocheting. You can either combine, join them randomly, leaving the two extremes and uh, with this effect. This I'm making a round mat here this time. So you can see this is going to be effect if they are joined randomly. This time I've got more of white, so there's more of white. Had there been more color, uh, it would have been brighter. Next one is to segregate. Now, segregation makes a difference to so the mat. You can segregate them according to your hardness or softness. Now, this mat I'm making from the hard varieties. Here also, while cutting the loops, you have to take into consideration the uh, consideration the hardness of the uh, bags. Simple crochet, simple crochet. Think not of the pain, but think of the cause. What difference it's going to make to the uh, society. It's finished. No problem. I will wait for uh, more bags to come to get cut into loops and I'll go on joining them. In fact, I start at least two mats at the same time because sometimes you don't get the uh, bags of the same type. Now here's another segregated one. Made entirely from bread wraps. See the difference. Now this one. This is a big one. I made, I made from black and white soft bags. And to add color to it, I uh, combined them with bread wraps. I could have joined them randomly. But to give a different effect, I made rows of each. So you can see. It almost has a designer look to it. There's no end to it. You can make anything with... Now see this mat. This mat is made entirely from milk packets. Amul milk packets. You can make bags. 
you can this is made from shopping bags you can make uh, vanity bags bags mats there's no end to it you can do anything with it it is your imagination so all the ladies out there who for some reason cannot get out of the house but still want to make do something for the society here it is i'm sharing this video with the hope that just as i got inspired by a video on facebook this video may inspire someone out there so get started and get going good luck